So, now what I do, twenty four karat gold. So yeah, I did kind of go on a quest for a while to, to get away from trying to have my stuff look the style that I wanted it to be, but still not, you know, have anybody looking at it saying, hey, that looks like so-and-so's work, you know. I mean, really, when I, when, the way I discovered how to do it, you know, I looked at his stuff and I said, that's cool, you know, if I can make a planet one day, I'm going to make a planet. And the way I discovered it was I looked on the top of one of my my mushroom pendants because that's the first thing you learn how to make usually when you're a lamp worker. You learn how to push a mushroom into a pendant. And I'll show you in a minute. As soon as I'm done with this, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I was pushing mushroom pendants, you know, learning how to blow glass. Squish. Oh, that's cool. Well, when you turn it like that and look at it from the top, it looks like a planet. So I was like, okay, so if you look at the shit from the top, it looks like a planet, so that's how you must do that type of thing. And then I just worked on it until I kept doing it like that, you know, at first, and I was like, well, they're not as round, you know, they don't look round. So then I tried a different way, tried that, no, nah, that's not it. And just kept doing it and picking at it until finally I could do it really good, and I could make those suckers, like, super round. Okay, this here is uh, this is 99.9% .9 silver, and what I do is I just like you saw that. And then I use uh, 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold on there and then when you mix the two you get like this green it's a really cool look when you put the other lens on it and I take my gold off in there now. It fumes off, the gold will actually melt and then give off a fume and then it hits the glass and sticks to the glass. And then leaves a little trail of gold on the glass. It comes out looking pink. Yeah, you can kind of see it. You'll be able to see it more when I put the lens on it. You'll be able to get a better look at it. And I'm out of clear, so I'm going into my, uh, I'm already going into my stash here looking for, looking for uh, material. That happens a lot. When you're low, you know, glass is expensive, you start looking for all your stuff that you had put away that was like all fragmented or broke funny or whatever. I keep everything that I think I can use. I'll stick it aside and then you know, like that thing over there, just full of that kind of stuff. And then I just go over there if I need something, pick it out, clean it up real good. That anybody's ever said, that's a good question, hmm. Wow, I had to think about that one. I don't know, I stay real humble when people talk about my work. It makes me feel really funny. Like, I, I'm still not used to people like complimenting my work and stuff. I, I, it makes me very humble. Like, I, I'm just amazed that people actually like the stuff that I make. 
so much that when they give me a compliment, I'm just like, I, I still don't know how to react properly, you know. I, I just tell them thank you and I appreciate the compliment and, and try not to let my head get too big because people do say some really nice things, you know. They really, they're very flattering. I know that. They're, they're very flattering, but I, I try not to dwell on what they say so much that I can't think of the nicest thing. <laughs> Because <laughs> I, like I, I said, art, I think it's art, very artful and very beautiful marble. Thank you. So. I appreciate it. Thank you. I thought one of your tenants the other day when they brought me to the office and thinking about the nicest one with the big comment streaking across it. Mm -hmm. Oh, right on. And uh, somebody else came and she was showing me the other I came up to him and told him, yeah, but I got the nicest one already. Sweet. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Really knows that I like your stuff. So. That's cool. I'm going to get some Oh, I was just put, I put on some Pink Floyd before I came down. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm always listening to something different. Like right now, my favorite thing, my favorite music is this uh, this guy. Uh, he calls himself Pretty Lights, and he does. Uh, he takes basically he remixes songs and and puts his own beats and stuff behind it. It's really cool stuff. But that's what I'm into these days. More than anything. Yeah. No, it's pretty much uh, if somebody likes what you do and they want to learn from you, they'll come learn. Like I've had so many people that want me to teach them that I've just said, nah, you know, I'm no teacher or whatever, you know. And now, now I'm kind of like, well, shoot, maybe I can teach instead of make stuff. <laughs> Because, I mean, that that would be nice, you know, I'd rather do that because it seems like just the whole, whole art thing is just, like you, like we were saying, you know, it's very political and weird and I'm, I've never been really good at it and about it. So, I, instead of playing the game, I would rather just, you know, send other kids that want to go out and play the game out there to play. I'm, I'm too old to start the game, but, you know. Exactly. Yeah, that's really where I'm at. You know, I, I just I don't want to fight any battles, and I'm just like I'm so. There's the people are so dang cutthroat. It seems like you know in the art world, and, and I don't want to I don't want to play that hard. <laughs> you know, I just kind of want everything to go nice and easy and be happy and you know not a bunch of cutthroat like art stuff happening. I don't know. But there, there is a realm where that doesn't go on, and I can't say that the whole world is like that, you know. So I just have to find my niche and get in it and be happy there. That's where I think I'm headed, you know. It really is. If I can find my niche locally, I'll be good. This part is, yeah, this is what I'm balling up the marble section that I'm going to stick all the art in. Mm -hmm. Basically building the marble, kind of like a kid in a bottle. Right, I'm building the bottle, yeah. Yep. This one, this one, uh, I didn't put the little spaceship in the top part, I'm just doing the sun part. I figured I'd cut back on, a, on a, about an hour's worth of... <laughs> footage that he used to make them, you know, back in his younger day. Everybody knew about his, you know, he used to make those. And now he just came out with a, a new series that he's doing. It's called Weapons of Peace. 
and it's uh, like this AK-47 that's uh, it's actual size AK-47 and it's a pipe. <laughs> Weapons of peace. <laughs> What was that now? Put anything in it and go down the tube? Nope. Nope. Yeah. Now look right here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You see the space coming in now? Yeah. And then that's all red now, but when it cools, it'll have the purples and, you know, all the different colors and stuff. It's only red because it's hot. That's a. With everything I'm doing, it'll appear red while I'm working on it, but as soon as it cools, it'll switch to a different color. Yeah. I mean, I've seen my friends get hurt and, you know, post pictures of them, like, really messed up from just doing what I just did. Scoring a piece of glass that was really big or bigger than this. I should say, this is a really small piece to score, but, like, they'll be scoring something like this size or way bigger and trying to pop it, you know, and end up cutting themselves or have some glass accident and... Yeah, you hear about it when it's one of your people is getting hurt, like at the job. They always, they're always eager to put that picture up, you know, like, look what I did. Look, it took half my face off. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. No, never that bad, but, you know, crazy stuff. Like, uh, the big one, oh, the biggest one probably is when they, uh, they're trying to do a frit piece. And they, they have this tube like this, right? Then they have their piece down here. And what they do is they'll dump the frit down the tube, and it's, that's just little pieces of glass color. And they'll roll down the tube and come in here into a hollow spot, and then they'll try to melt it in, right? And then they'll melt it in and be melting it, and then they go like this to try to blow a bubble out with the frit in it, and the hot frit rolls back down and into their mouth. That's like the most common, like really bad thing I hear about, like that people do quite frequently. It's like a noob mistake. It's a total noob mistake. You know, a noob would do that in a minute. That's why the things like the forum are really good and for people, you know, because they get to read about shit like that before they do it to themselves. And it's like, shit, well, I'll make sure I never do that, you know? And I'd have to say the forum has definitely helped me in a few ways from getting messed up, you know, or, or losing material or save me a few bucks or whatever. Like just last time, Tom, Tom saved me a bunch of money because he showed me how to put my, my gold in the thing like that. Because I used to just leave it on the end of the stick, and then when I'd go back to use it, it wouldn't be there. It'd be on my table somewhere because once it cools off, it just wants to fall off the stick. So I would keep putting my stick down, I'd have to go look for this, see that little teeny thing? Yeah. I'd have to go try to find that in here somewhere, like in all this. Yeah, yeah, in all this. It would be like laying in here. And I would never find it, it would end up like in a crack in my table or something. And so he showed me how to do that last time I was up there, I mean that's going to save me a hundred bucks a year. You know, gold ain't cheap anymore and like, if you lose a little speck every other day, yeah, that shit adds up. So, yeah, I learned a lot of stuff from the Glass Center and Tom and that place at AGI. Basically, 
typically I just get it round before I put my plants in so I know that when I put them in, that's the way they're going to be. like it is right now and I'm working and all of a sudden my marble falls off while it's hot like that it'll fall right into this trash and all that trash will stick right to it I'm reckless I'm telling you I'm reckless